like so this is what i've been dulling my cell phone like questions my eye is talking you know doesn't mean you are qualified for it i'm a library girl i'm a library girl hi hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel <laughs> so if you're new here you are welcome my name is elizabeth and to my returning subscribers thank you for being here yeah so today's video is going to be about academic tips for computer science students so this is the episode two for the computer science which i said i was going to start i'm sorry i'm just doing this video i was busy with other things i recently just finished my it and that's what's been up so yeah so i'm going to be sharing academic tips for computer science but i feel like these tips might also work for other students but i'm doing i'm saying computer science because i'm actually a computer science student what am i saying but i can relate to computer science i've not done other courses but that's what i'm saying for computer science but i feel like in my work for other people yeah so the first tip here is that don't focus don't focus on your past fix when i mean your past fix not even past fix i mean your past records whether you were doing well before whether you were doing so bad before do not focus on it see every opportunity see every semester as a new opportunity i'm not even only talking to under level students i'm talking to all the students across all levels see every semester see every session as a new opportunity for you to do something great so let me give you an example while I was in secondary school, I wasn't doing so well. It's not that I was not doing at all. I was doing well. I was okay. Yeah. I was okay. I was normal. I was stable. Yeah. So, and I, I just said, I said to myself, after I saw my first semester exam, I was like, I, I, I can do more. I can do more. And yeah, I saw it as an opportunity for me to do well and glory to god i've been doing far better than i was doing in secondary school so i'm saying that see every opportunity see every session or every semester as a new opportunity to do something good and even if you are doing so good in secondary school right now or you are doing so good in secondary school it doesn't automatically mean you will do so well in university it's just you seeing a new opportunity doing things better there's opportunity for you for you to do something better and greater so as i'm saying do not focus on your past feats don't 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 focus on your past records if you have a record of doing something but don't focus on it see give yourself see the opportunity see the opportunity and make use of it yeah so the second it. point here is attend all your classes i mean you are in school to attend all your classes why are you in school why are you on the campus because you are supposed to attend your classes like attending your class should be seen above like it should be your priority is it's like the top priority on why you know, it's quite that there might be other activities but attending your class is far more important yeah it will be stressful but that's the point of going to school i mean that's why you're in school to attend your classes and yeah uh let's establish the fact that you will not necessarily gain something from all the classes but please attend all your classes attend all your classes there might be things that your lecturer might say concerning a subject concerning your test or exams and you just decide that you depend on your friend to come and tell you but your friend might not tell you the exact way the exact way the lecturer will say so it's very important for you to attend all your classes and for attendance reasons please do attend all your classes the third point here is youtube is your friend youtube is your friend in computer science like YouTube has helped us a lot. YouTube has changed our lives as computer science students. I feel like we should be very grateful to YouTube. Like the person, the man that thought, or the woman that thought about YouTube, thank you on behalf of computer science students. I'm saying thank you. Even um, the people that thought of um, starting tutorials on YouTube, thank you for that idea. God bless you. So YouTube has literally changed our life. You can easily search for, let's give an example, Z Gates made easy or z gates for beginners and you will see someone that has done justice to that topic that you are you are but in it yeah the lecturers might will have done their own part but you have your own part to do but youtube is like our second lecturer like they are doing a great job like i love youtube as a computer science like it makes things easy 
for us yeah and youtube indian tutors like they are the best the indian tutors like they are the best i have tutors like the organic chemistry tutor that one helped me very well in under level like in under level and 200 level no under level yes under level mostly because we still are like physics courses chemistry courses so the organic chemistry tutor he has his own channel he does a very good job in teaching things like he's good and banu prayer um we have jenny's lecture we have so many channels just for computer science that's what i'm saying that youtube is our friend so make use of youtube when you don't understand something being taught in the class yeah so yeah, the next that point have a friend within your course it's very very important it's like it's it's very important for you to have a friend within your course because it will when a, when an information is being passed around you wouldn't miss out of the information so i'm saying please have friends within your course i know that maybe for example let's say you are just starting over yeah yes like university like is like starting over so let's say you didn't you didn't go with your secondary school mates or you didn't you, you didn't you didn't go you did not go to uni with anybody you knew that it's be very 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 important for you to actually make a friend in your course your roommates may be your first friend but please make please make friend within your course you don't have to force it but allow it to happen naturally because please just have a friend within your course it's going to be a plus for you like i mean it it's going to be a plus for so you. the next point here and it's very very important and i did learn from it is to use past questions guys please use past questions use past questions you know they say experience is the best teacher I some people say experience is not it but let me be your teacher in this i always have a story for it so in under level how far that's the first semester i know it's past questions i'm like i want to read i know that i want to understand and i'll use the um the um brain that i used to read and i now understand to write my exam i wrote my exams and yeah yeah it showed me and I've, as I've said before, see every new semester as an opportunity. So I didn't do as much in my first semester. So the second semester, I'm like, this is a new opportunity. <coughs> Let me try something else. So I now, okay, said so that, okay, I'm going to buy this past question. I'm going to use past question. So past, there's this past question booklet that was circulating for under level students in my school. And it was quite expensive to me. So me and my friends contributed money to buy that book and we used it. And honestly, it changed a lot. It changed a lot for me. Tests. The question there will be the question that comes that will be inside the inside the test. I'm like, so this is what I've been dulling myself on like like past questions is a plus. Please use past questions. Don't be like me. Use past questions. My eye is talking, you use past questions. So yeah. And this is like the five points I wanted to share. But I added a bonus tip, like a gift for me to you guys, yeah. And the bonus tip is that know what works for you. Please know what works for you. Like it is very, 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 very important for you to know what works for you. You are not your friend, you are you. Because your friend can stay from uh your friend will say oh wake me up by 9 p.m and your friend will do 9 p.m to 2 a.m doesn't mean you are qualified for it though. doesn't mean you can do it i'm talking from experience because i mean no i do my things in the day i'm a library girl i'm a library girl just give me my laptop earpiece my book and take me to the library i'm gone like that's my that's where i do better by studying but all those night stuff is not for me. Although sometimes I feel uh, bad because most people, mom, like about 70% of people I know, they like to do their stuff in the night. And when you are not sleeping, you will not be reading, you will not be feeling summer, but you have read in the day. But above all, know what works for you and, and use it for yourself. Do not compare yourself to others because you don't know what they've done. They may be seen as like a faster assimilation process and stuff like that don't compare yourself to others do your part and pray to god yeah so we've come to the end of the video so thank you guys for watching and please do 
like share drop a comment and please subscribe please get me to 200 subscribers before mid-september not even mid-september before the second week in september be when the second week of september i don't know what i'm doing about but please get me to 200 subscribers guys and please do drop a comment i'll be replying and yeah share bye thank you for watching